CCNA, CCNP, total garbage. I have both, what do I think? First, I wanna tell you about my chair because I got the CCNP, right? That qualified me to be a network engineer. And you gotta spend a lot of time in front of the computer, come to find out. So they had us do an ergonomic assessment at work when we started working from home and they told me, you've got to get a new chair. They said, your chair is unacceptable. You just, you got to replace it. They recommended, they said, hey, you know, what you get for the price of this chair, the value, it's actually really, really good. We recommend the Clatina executive chair. So you should look at that. So I looked at it, I decided I went ahead and ordered it. And let me tell you, this is a throne of an office chair. We had the thousand dollar chairs at the office. And the only reason I can say they would be any better is they had more adjustment in the thousand dollar chairs. But in terms of how it feels to me sitting in, the support in this thing really, really, really surprised me. I was really happy with like the, the cushion. And then just the, the thing that I like really the most about the chair is that it comes with this really heavy, solid like metal base. And it's not too heavy to move around or anything like that, but you just feel planted in it when you sit down. And it's really nice. It's like rolling around in a just so smooth, silky smooth rolling in this chair. It's just really solid. It feels like a solid thing that could last for a long time. You know, you get those Office Max chairs and you just know that fake leather is going to be all over the floor and this cheap, brittle plastic that just, you know, it's going to be wobbled around, you know, it's like, it's no good. And there's none of that with this chair at all. So I'm really happy with it. What do they tell me next though, right? They say, okay, well, sitting's bad for you. Sitting too much is bad for you. So I had to get the standing desk too. And this is the, the flexi spot standing desk. I'll say the Amazon reviews. This is for the electric desks. This is one of the less expensive ones, but the Amazon reviews are true. It's, it's solid. It's a really nice, great value desk. You see, I have the two monitors there and it works really great. I'm not gonna go much more into it than that. For me, the chair, a really nice chair and a really nice desk really put the cherry on top of the CCNP and made it feel official that I'm a network engineer because I have a, a great place to work. So if you're interested in owning such a fine working setup as this, there are some links in the description. You can check these items out. I would definitely recommend them. Now, in terms of why you click the video, CCNP is total garbage. Is the CCNP worth it? Should I get the CCNP? After having it for a year, I think I can share some interesting input. I think it's interesting. I hope you will too. And I'd like to share that. So is it worth it? Is it garbage? Well, if I never got my CCNP, I probably wouldn't have to worry all about having a chair and a desk to support my body, you know, and, and this line of work and all that stuff. But then I probably wouldn't have a job either. So that would suck. So of course the CCMP or the CCNA is not garbage, right? For me, the NRC, the advanced routing, the track I took, I think that really laid a really, really solid foundation for the advanced routing that you're gonna see in the real world. I mean, it, it pretty much exposes you to just about any kind of like enhancement or manipulation that you might wanna make to routing. And it, it, it at least gives you an exposure to that, which is really great. I use that. But what I want to say, what I want to share is that the real world experience compared to what you get from labbing and taking the exam is really, really different. So if you've been kind of looking in the industry for a while or you've worked in a place or two or you've looked online, you probably see everybody arguing and debating that some guys say, oh, if somebody tells me they have certs, I don't even listen anymore because I know that they only learn by a book and I don't want to. Uh, uh, uh. And you see guys say, oh, I like them this and that and the third and oh, certs are great. Everybody we've hired with one has been great. So there's always a lot of debate about this. Now, I never used to understand it. I say there's no way somebody can take this exam and not be at least, you know, pretty well qualified for whatever kind of job. It's just a, it's a very respected, it's a challenging exam. It's true, I do think that, but after taking it and then working in the field, I can kind of understand some of the other attitudes. So here's what I'll say to the question of, you know, should I take my CCNP without that much experience, this and that and the third, no matter which way you look at it. In my videos on how to pass it, I tell you, hey, look at it like an exam, treat it like an exam, you're trying to pass an exam figure out what's on it, take it in, learn the question style, pass it. I still advocate for that. Get it on your resume. The way I view certifications, they're like tickets into interviews or something like that, you know? It's like, 
it, it proves that you've got some baseline level of knowledge that you've gone out of your way to take the time and money to guarantee that you, you know to some extent, to some level. And it says to anybody that you're trying to talk to for some reason, like, hey, this person might at least be worth giving the time to talk to. And then you've got the opportunity to be in front of them and sell yourself and whatever skills you have. Now, this is where beginners who might be asking, should I get it, should I get it with no experience, whatever. This is where it's gonna be key how you sell yourself in the interview. If you come in here saying, you know, I got my CCNP, I'm ready to go. I know advanced routing and services from Cisco. You know, I'm ready to put me up, let, where's the core? Put me in the core, you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, that's not going to be good. Anybody who's been in the industry for any amount of time is going to, you're going to instantly lose credibility with them if you try to present yourself as, oh, I, I took the CCMP, so I know what I'm talking about. But if you lack a little bit of experience and you come in with the CCMP and you say, hey, you know, I got my CCMP, I'm proud, I blah, blah, blah. But I know I have a lot to learn. I know it's different in the real world. You guys may have a certain way of doing things, which I'm interested to learn about. I'm interested to grow with your senior engineers and apply what I learned in the book to the real world. I do have experience with the lab, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you, if you present yourself that way, you're gonna come off as coachable, motivated, invested in your career, things like that. Whereas if you come in saying, you know, oh, I'm this and that because I have CCNP, I think that's where a lot of the, uh, the, bad, the bad reputation comes from for the certifications and also, I, when I, I got my CCMP and then I went full queue and when I say full queue that means I'm just I'm taking cases all day each day new cases of some problem in some network somewhere in the world and I, I had my CCMP and I was like yeah I'm a it's real now I'm really a network now no more um, you know baby stuff but then I was on these calls and realized troubleshooting I like correlating what you know about the foundational protocols to the symptoms of the problem that is manifesting at hand under pressure and then testing hypothesis, trying to find a fix or the answer to why something happened in retrospect. That's a whole different skill set than studying foundational concepts and applying them to like a multiple choice exam or even an exam with some lab exercises in it. So that's kind of where the discrepancy between some people say, oh, I like them, I don't like them. In the organization I work in, TAC, some people in TAC just say they're completely worthless for TAC. I wouldn't say it's completely worthless, but troubleshooting hardware and software upgrade type stuff, and not even only that, but even networking strictly, straight up networking related problems, actually troubleshooting them and then trying to solve them, is it's just different. And it's much more difficult than you would expect. And it's something that an exam can't really train for. And that's not the fault of the exam. So the exam is totally not garbage. If you're experienced and you're asking, you know, should I get it? That just comes down to you, what you're trying to do from what I've seen. Um, there comes a point where experience trumps certifications, but certifications can look good in certain roles. If you're customer facing and you need a certain certification for whatever reason, you know pretty much by the time you start getting experience, when, what, why you need it, if you need it, if it's gonna be worth it for you. It's always worth it if somebody else is gonna pay for it, right? So always try to take advantage of those programs. Everybody knows that, that's pretty much common sense. And um, I mean, that's my take on the CCMP. For me, it was a humbling experience to go from a theory guy, a book guy, a, I did well on the exams, I do well in my labs, I'm just a technical type person, to actually seeing some real problems in a real network, a real large organization, and how they go through the process of, you know, responding to that and then trying to root cause that it's really interesting and it's a totally different skill set than anything you could really learn on the exam i think the closest you could probably get is like the ccie exam but i haven't taken that and i don't know if i will so we'll see let me know if, what you think should i take it have you taken it are you going to take it has ccmp worked for you i mean let's have a discussion in terms of me i, I forgot to add i want to add here money and raises I'll just say I do think all certifications have always been beneficial to me in that regard. And even for experienced people, no matter what, I think having a certification is a bargaining chip that works in your favor. And it's something to satisfy HR. So I like certs, but there does come a point where you're getting too many, maybe. That depends on you and your role. Um, I think the most important thing for new people to understand, the type of person who would be looking, is the CCMP worth it or CCNA or any cert, I think the most important thing to understand is 
you're not getting a cert and then saying, I'm ready to go. Put me in charge of your whole ship. It's more just proving that you're worth talking to in an interview. And then you sell yourself and say, hey, I'm, I have a good attitude. I'm ready to learn. I'm fun to work with. And yeah, I have a base level skill set that I validated here at the projects I've done, the certifications I got. More important than that, I'm a team fit, you know, things like that. So I hope this has been informative for you. That's what I think about is the CCNA and CCMP worth it. If you like this video, give a like, give a subscribe. More will be coming on the way. I don't know what else I'll try to sell you. Uh, if you click the links, of course, it helps the channel a little bit. If you're watching by this far by now, you probably know that. These items though, they're really, they, I really would recommend them. I wouldn't sell you the chair and the desk this hard if they weren't great. So click those, buy those, like the video, subscribe to the video. I hope you have a good day, morning, night, if you're getting your exam scheduled, good luck. Oh, by the way, if you are at the CCNA level and you're trying to learn subnetting, subnetting is a big thing for a lot of people check the description there's a link to packetflipper.com it's unlimited subnetting practice there's one type of question available right now it's going to be three it's a work in progress if you're new to networking and you want to learn about subnetting and yeah have a good day i'll see you guys next time peace